Ricardo. Yep. Uh, reproducible and user-controlled package management with new geeks is a topic. Uh, reproducible is a very vague term, so I, I'd like to define it again. Uh, at least the subset that I'm interested in is reproducible builds. So that is, uh, you have the source code and you compile it on Monday, and you compile it again on Friday, and it's still the same. It's exactly a bit identical. That's reproducible builds, but very obvious and uh, very difficult to achieve. Uh, the next is keeping the stack, the, the whole environment, the whole software profile uh, constant. That is, uh, if a system administrator decides to, to upgrade something in the background, I don't want my software to change. I want it to, to be the same week after week until I decide to change it. Uh, the third thing reproducibility means to me is being able to rebuild the environment on a different machine. Uh, this also includes sharing with other people. Reproducibility in itself is not, um, it's not a goal unto itself. Uh, we do this because uh, of reproducible science. We want to en enable reproducible science. And uh, science, just the first step of this is that you've got to set up an environment that is equivalent to what somebody else has done. Then you can experiment with that, uh, explore. So exploration has to be cheap. So the steps after reproducing the environment are just as important as reproducing it in itself. Um, we want to be able to change individual parts and see what effect they have on the, the performance of the system. Um, there shouldn't be any black boxes, so we're not interested in non-free software, for example. Uh, there, there is no reproducibility when you've got black boxes, really. And uh, one, there are lots of approaches to, um, to get closer to the holy grail of reproducibility. And one thing that the GNU Geeks project is proposing is a functional packaging might be uh, a reasonable way to, to do that. Functional does not mean usable, it means uh, like a pure function. As we treat um, the build process as if it were a function that takes inputs and always produces the same output. If you change the inputs, no matter how, how much of it you change, the output changes, right? Uh, in this case, we've got a function that's like configure, make, make, install, right? Uh, and it takes inputs. Uh, the header files, the, the source code, uh, the, the build tools and whatever, libraries, and it produces a package. In this case, it's Emacs. Emacs is great. Uh, if you change any of that, uh, any of the build tools, the libraries, or whatever, that will be a different thing. It doesn't matter that it's the same version, right? Uh, this, if you traverse, um, if, or if you substitute uh, every package with um, a function like that, you recurse to the whole graph of package dependencies, and eventually you have the whole directed acyclic graph of your software environment. And since this is all free software, you can poke at each little bit of it and, and change whatever you want. Uh, GNU Geeks is, uh, is, is a command line tool uh, that users can run, it's unprivileged users, you communicate with the uh, build daemon that runs this route that performs builds on behalf of the user in isolated environments, so we get close to bit reproducibility because the environment is exactly the same each time, uh, where only declared inputs are available. Nothing else, no global state affects anything. Uh, the, the stuff that is built is then cached in a store where uh, you can have all the different variants of, of the Emacs or, or samples or what have you. Users then build uh, profiles out of components of the store. Just pick and choose, really. So here, this is my profile. It points to a symlink uh, that points to a version of my current profile. That again points to a profile in the store. That is really just a collection of symlinks to other store items. Uh, this allows me to trivially roll back to previous versions because nothing ever is, is deleted. You see, I've got two versions of the profile. One has some tools and bow tie. The second version of my profile, or the 43rd version of my profile, only has some tools. So I remove bow tie, yet the previous profile is still there. Changing back to the previous version just means rolling back uh, to, well, changing a sibling, really. It's trivial. Learn more about uh, new geeks. It's currently used uh, uh, at, at my, where I work uh, in bioinformatics uh, on two clusters with 250 nodes. It's great. Essentially, the difference between Koji and uh, Cobol, for instance, to your system. Co Co I, don't, I don't know that. That's the uh, thing for Fedora. Maybe it's essentially the same thing that, that you do it. Cobol, though, it's a Debian thing. Okay. It's 
trying to build, and together with the uh, whole package manager, to help. Uh, Does it capture the whole graph? Yeah, that's the distribution. Uh, the, uh, uh, the other problem I see, we have not the tag. We have loops in software development. We can discuss this. 